So, hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome to our GLC Purity this week of day 95. So, let's begin the question and before beginning the question, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, grow and maintain our streak together. So, today's name, uh, the name of the question is Convert an Array to Reduce Form. <coughs> it's a medium category question and the submission is massive as well as the accuracy is more than 50%. So, I think it would be an easy question. So let's see. So given an array with n and distinct elements, convert the given array to the reduce form. And reduce form is where all the elements are in the range 0 to n minus 1. So the order of the elements is same, that is 0 is placed in the place of smallest element, 1 is placed for the second smallest element, n minus 1 for the place for the largest element. Okay. Note you don't have to return anything, you just have to change the given array. So suppose for this test case for array equals to 10, 40, and 20. It is saying that 10 is the least element. So for 10, I am giving an array index of 0. So it is replaced by 0. 40 is the largest. So it is giving n minus 1. That is total is 3, 3 minus 1, 2. And the 20 is the second. So I am giving I am replace it by 1. Okay. So I got the logic here. Yeah. So it's it is actually a simple question, I guess. So what we need to do, we need to sort the array. So 10, 20, and 40. And just index it 0, 1, and 2. This was the question, the smallest element as 0, the, ne the next smallest, the second smallest as 1 and the third smallest as as the, this numbers like 0, 1, 2. The largest, uh, the largest element was actually equals to n minus 1. This is what n minus 1, 3 minus 1, that is 2. Great. What, what next we have to do that in the array, we just need to print, uh, store this index, pass this index. So our initial array was 10, 40 and 20, right? So search, search in this thing that what is uh, what is the index of 10 that is 0 right so I will write 0 what is the index of 40 it was saying 2 so I will write 2 and what is the index of 20 it is 1 so I will write 1 so what are all the things that I am doing so before proceeding here let's see the time complexity so time complexity is 10 power 5 and according to our chart for the TLE the 10 power 5 says that the maximum time complexity you can use is n root 10 so okay so let me decide these steps so 10 power 5 implies n root n if you are not aware of this thing that how 10 power 5 is corresponding to the maximum complexity of n root n then must uh, then must watch this time complexity video i just made it for you it might be flashing up here okay so we can use n root n as the maximum and you can go just below it that is n right that is n that is uh, what that is n log n you can use this one also right because you can use n and you can go beyond below it right okay so now let's begin our let's resume our solution so what i did what i did was i did i first sort the array i, I sorted right and then i was just checking what's the index of 10 in this in this in this structure in this structure and this structure is looking to me like more of a uh, key value pair and I need to check for each and every element right for the 10 what was the index after getting sorted for 40 what was the index for after getting sorted so to check in O of 1 to if I want to check in O of 1 that means I need to make a map right that is very clear that it will be stored in key value pair right where the key will be the array elements and the value will be will be array elements and the value will be indexes indexes or what is this array? This is a sorted sorted array, right? Okay, so let's dry run it the same logic for the second case and we will see. So if we sort this array, it will be 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, right? And the indexes will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And our original array elements were 5, 10, 40, 30, and 20. So now for each and every element, we will query on this structure that it will check. Uh, it will check that what was the value for this particular key so 5 it was 0 for 10 it was it is 1 so for 40 the val the indexes in the sorted array it is 4 for 30 it is 3 for 20 it is 2 so let's see if this is our answer or not 0 1 4 3 2 so okay so we are on the same page so great so okay let's decide the steps now so steps so step 1 will be key to sort the array right step 2 will be key uh, make a map right and put the element and index right of this sorted array and step 3 this will be a step 3 
that iterate in our original array and just check in O of 1 that what was the index of the sorted array, right? So now let's proceed to the coding question. So this question was actually very simple. It was actually very simple, guys. <laughs> so we need to sort it first, right? So step one is to sort the array and we, we need we have to use the another array right to store those elements because we need to do the changes in our existing array to return the answer so let's make a new array that isn't uh, let's name it as t or let's name it as temp equals to of size n store all the elements of array into temp so for int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus so n is small right what i will say that temp of i is equals to array of i now i will store this sorted array sorted array with indexes in map right so that i can query in o of 1 for all the elements so let's store it. So let's make a let's make a map here. That map in teacher map is equals to new hash map, right? So let's store the elements. So again, I need to run a for loop. So I will use this for loop. Just copy paste it here, and I will say that map dot put. Okay. Map dot put. Temp of i that is the sorted array elements with the index i. That is it. Now I need to query. I need to query for each and every element. So I will say query for each and every given array elements and find its find its index in sorted array. That is it. So what I will say that I will again traverse in this loop and I will say that array of i is nothing but map dot get of array of i right this is what we have been doing in our last step if you just see this last step what i did here the initial array elements were 10 right so i searched in this map that what was the index for this 10 for this 10 in this in this map structure so it said 0 for 40 what is the index of 40 in this map structure it says as 2 right so great so we have modified our initial are given array right so we don't need to return in this thing it's a void function so let's compile and run to check that uh, our solution mm, actually runs or not so there's a compilation error and i can see that i have missed the semicolon here okay and i can see that there is one minus sign instead of equals to sign i guess everything is correct so let's compile and run again Okay, so I don't know. I'm making very silly mistakes here. It should be int, right? Hmm. Okay, so we did some mistake. Let me see what I did mistake. Okay, so I was again, I was always saying that we need to sort it, we need to sort it, and at the end, I have not sorted it. So I will say aris.sort temp. That is it. <laughs> so it happens when there is a simple question you just jump to the <laughs> solution and you make a mistake okay so your output and expected output matches so let's just hit the summer button so what will be the time complexity that since we are sorting and we are using three for loops so it will be n log n plus 3 n right and that should that will be in the bound of 10 per eight. so it must get submitted as you can see the solution gets submitted and if we just talk about the time complexity it is n log n plus 3n right and space complexity since we used a uh, an array and map so it will be o of 2n 
that's it for this video and if you are new to this channel if you like my content please like share and subscribe so that i can make new video for you guys starting from tomorrow and we are almost there to hit our streak of day 100 so stay tuned and we will do wonders in the long run so few last thing that that's my instagram channel you can start and fork to get along with the source code and that's my instagram channel you can connect me here you can follow me here either either on linkedin and can message me anytime for any doubts and guidance so that is it uh, we'll see the next question in the tomorrow's video till then keep studying keep growing and take care bye bye